Martin, how tough is it for the players to disappear straight after the defeat at West Ham and not to get any of them back until yesterday? I don't think it's tough for them. I think it's tough for us, for the club, for the staff. You want to uh, do something on the pitch and uh, and, and work on, on the mistakes we made. And, and, and it was quite easy to see that we made a few mistakes. You know, it was the long ball strategy. And of course, with Andy Carroll, everyone would do that. And we couldn't cope with it. And that was uh, disappointing. Second goal was a corner kick, long ball corner kick. And we couldn't cope with that. And the third goal was a... A second ball came back in defence and, and and we lost that header as well, first header. And you can't say that normally we're not good at that. I think that is our quality. You know, we've got big, big guys at the back, but we couldn't cope with it. Maybe any Carroll is a different class in the air. Maybe he is. And uh, so he punished us. And uh, in the second half, of course, we did better, but we couldn't repair the damage. And uh, of course, it wasn't a away game, but we, we should do better. One of the big guys at the back, Aaron Hughes, has signed another contract with us today, a contract extension. That must be pleasing that he pledged his future as well. Of course, he knows that we are good to him, you know. Uh, he's good for us. He's uh, playing well and he uh, achieved a lot of this club, so I'm very uh, happy that he uh, will join us, not only this season, but next season as well. So you got the guys back yesterday, only two days of preparation. Were any of them injured on their return from international duty? Of course, you will always get your little knocks and bruises, but we had one uh, player, Mamadou Diara, who couldn't, uh, who had a knock on his knee and he can't be involved tomorrow. Of course, we had the players, like Ken Richards, who had an injury in training, so uh, he won't join us tomorrow, so he won't be involved. And of course, we will play with a different midfield. We will play with a different lineup because we've got uh, other players coming in. We had uh, midfield players, five midfield players uh, who left us. Uh, so we will play with a different midfield, and uh, for the rest, will be the same. And Dimitar Berbatov made an appearance against West Ham. Is he likely to start tomorrow? His debut at the cottage. Of course, because Mlad and Petric had a little problem. Uh, we had to take him off second half against West Ham. Dimitar came on. Uh, he gave us hope again, he showed his quality and uh, hopefully he will do that again uh, tomorrow. It must be frustrating only having two days to prepare that because West Brom obviously are flying high, they've had very good results for the start of, of their season and it will be tough tomorrow. They had good results at home against Everton, Everton was flying and mm. they beat them 2-0. Uh, of course the result against uh, Liverpool 3-0. Mm. was remarkable. Uh, they had a good result against Spurs away from home, 1-1, one, one, so they're on seven points. But we are playing at home. Uh, we would like to take control of this game and get the points on the board, so hopefully the crowd will be behind us and uh, give us a lift, And uh, especially the new players, because uh, Dimitar asked me, will they like me? I said, they will love you, and hopefully they will love him. Another addition outside of the transfer window was Georgios Karagounis. Can you tell us a little bit about him, what, why he came to Fulham and what you think of him as a player? I think it was a big bonus that he was still uh, not on a contract with any other club because we lost five midfield players with Danny Murphy, Getschoff, Dixon, Moussa at the last moment, uh, Clint on the last day, so we lost five and uh, we, we had a little problem, I thought, and uh, because you need uh, some quality and he, although he's 35, and of course, you know, normally you won't sign a 35-year-old. Uh, but I thought we needed one. And he's a complete midfield player. He played 120 caps. He had over 100 Champions League and Europa League games. He was skipper of his, of his country and he was free. So I won't say it's a gamble, but it's a nice gamble, you know. And he wanted to come to us. He was very, very enthusiastic and happy that he could join us. And that is good, you know, because he's... And it's not normal to say that because uh, legends are all, they, 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 they die or they already died. But he's a living legend in, in Greece, so hopefully he can give us a, a bit of enjoyment. And we will have a, a good season with, with Giorgio because he's a terrific player and a terrific lad. You lost a couple of obviously important key players, but how long do you think it will be before you get the team that you have now to play the way that you want them to play? I think we, we made a big... Uh, step back but now in the next couple of weeks we uh, hope to go forward again because if everyone is on the board with Berbatov, Petric, Rode Jäger, Brian Ruiz I don't think uh, it's 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 a, I think it's a good team I think we have, we've got a good squad the only thing tomorrow is we have to we need we, we've got a, a little uh, problem in midfield but 
we we still got uh, Sigma, we still got uh, Berry, we, we got uh, uh, normally we got the R, but the R is injured, so that could give us a little problem. But I'm I'm very optimistic uh, that we will do well because Berbatov comes in the team tomorrow. He will start. Uh, if the if the crowd is uh, again behind us and will support us, I think we need that tomorrow against uh, a West Bromwich team who did very well at home against Liverpool and Everton. They beat them. They had a good result against uh, Spurs away from home one one. But I still feel that. Uh, Although it's for the first time that we will play together, and that is not a nice thing to say, you know, in September. But with the backing of the crowd, I think uh, we, we could keep the points at Craven Cottage. We're all behind you. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you very much.